and welcome to another episode of Baking with Little Cooks. So today we're gonna to be doing an Anzac biscuit. Now, many of you might have this book, Edmunds Cookbook, which is a really popular cookbook in New Zealand. Um, and it says, and I'll read it here, it says, contrary to legend, Anzac biscuits weren't sent to our troops serving overseas in World War I. However, they were commonly sold at church feats and galas to raise funds for the war effort. They didn't get their name until peacetime, with the first Anzac recipe appearing about 1919. Your first step is going to be to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and line two baking sheets with baking paper so they don't stick to the pan. We're gonna mix in a large bowl flour, three quarters of a cup of flour. Put that in here. And every time you measure, can you see this? What I want you to do is take a butter knife or something flat and I want you to touch both sides of the cup with it so that you're leveling off the cup measure. You don't want to get more or you don't want to get less than what it's telling you to do. So we want one, uh, three quarters of a cup, sorry, three quarters of a cup of standard flour and you're going to put this in the bowl. Okay, now we're going to use one cup of oats. I've already measured these out. One cup of desiccated coconut. It doesn't matter what length of the thread that you have. I'm using a really small desiccated coconut. So one cup of desiccated coconut. And three quarters of a cup of sugar. Put that in. And we're gonna give that a mix. Okay, next we're gonna use two tablespoons of golden syrup. And we're gonna melt this with the butter. So that's just gonna mean they're incorporating better. So it's just like a sticky honey. So you wanna get two tablespoons. I'm just gonna use my clean finger to wipe out the inside of that spoon. And I want 115 grams of butter. I've already measured that, so I'm gonna pop that in. And I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for about 40 seconds, and it will melt the two together really nicely. Okay, that's 40 seconds. I'm actually gonna put this back in because that's not quite as melted as I want it to be. So I'm going back into the microwave. Okay. This looks good enough to me. It's pretty much all melted, and if I take a spoon, and give that a stir. I think if it's sat there for another minute or so, that butter will completely melt. Our next thing is one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, so we're gonna put this in a cup, and then we're gonna add two tablespoons of boiling water to that cup. So I've got the jug and I've boiled it, so now I'm just gonna pour that, and I'm just using it with my golden syrup messy tablespoon that I've used before, so that doesn't matter, it's all going together tablespoons of boiling water. So I'm dissolving that baking soda. And if you look, it's making some fuzzy noises and bubbling just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna take a spoon and we're gonna stir that boiling water and baking soda so that it dissolves in the boiling water. And then we're gonna add it to our butter and golden syrup mix. Now you can't see, there you go. Okay, so that's starting to really bubble up. And I'm just gonna give it a stir. So that baking soda has a reaction with everything in the bowl now. And it's starting to get a little bit frothy, actually. Can you see that? Okay, so I can't quite get my head into the shot, but it's okay because I wanna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna mix the wet and dry ingredients that wet bowl into the dry bowl. Trying to scrape everything out. And we're gonna mix that through. Next, we're going to drop teaspoons of the mixture onto the prepared trays. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit of space between each of them because I think they're gonna spread a little bit in the oven. All right, so I'm gonna lower the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Again, you're using a teaspoon. And you're just gonna 
drop balls like that. Now I'm going to put them in the oven for about 15 minutes. Like I said, it's 180 degrees Celsius. If you haven't done yet, please subscribe and like our videos. Also, let us know what else you would like us to cook with you or show you how to make or show you how to bake, show you how to decorate a cake perhaps or cookies, uh, make a meal for your family. We would love some really good ideas. So send those through. So I got the cookies out and I actually took them out a little bit early because they were getting really nice and golden. So check that out. They look beautiful. And don't forget the recipe is below, down below.